Staffing is more dire than ever as more people are coming in with COVID-19. Help is coming from outside the state. Caitlin Knapp has who is helping in the fight to keep people alive. 20 soldiers are already at Kootenai Health, doctors, nurses, and respiratory therapists. Idaho is waiting for more help from other agencies. The assistance couldn't come any faster as people continue to test positive at an alarming rate. Our ventilator use is at the highest level we've seen so far. Since September 11th, 98 COVID-19 patients are on a ventilator. A record number of teenagers are also getting sick. Last week, we had 630 cases identified among teens aged 13 to 17 years of age. Cooney Health feared they would be treating more young COVID patients. As the COVID-19 case trend climbs, help is needed at Idaho hospitals. The staff shortage is not a result of vaccine requirements at some hospitals. None of the hospitals in North Idaho have a vaccine requirement. 48 of 150 Idaho National Guard members are across the state. A contract with the General Services Administration brought more people in to help. The health department has a contract with the GSA, which helps agencies get the services they need. 145 of the 504 people in its contract are now across the state. Tough decisions are made about how to allocate scarce medical resources. The state is having to come up with more money for hospitals looking to hire nurses and keep the ones they have. Requests for the funding has exceeded the amounts that we have available. So we continue to look for additional funding and request additional funding to support more hospitals and clinics across the state. The Department of Health says AmeriCorps and the Department of Labor will help with staffing. However, to get ahead of this pandemic, the health department says people need to mask up and get vaccinated. Tomorrow, Heritage Health and Kootenai Health will start monoclonal antibody treatment for people with COVID-19. It's meant to help people avoid hospitalization. Health experts hope the treatment will take a load off of strained hospitals. In studio, Caitlin Knapp for News Nightside.